Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we are looking at the buggy whip forehand this week. We did a three video progression on how to hit this shot. And today we're looking at three scenarios that are really fantastic ideas to use the buggy whip in. All right, so let's get to it. The first scenario that I really like the buggy whip is a passing shot cross court with my forehand. A lot of times, what, what tends to be a big problem for people with passing shots is going for too much, meaning hitting the ball a little too flat and too hard. The buggy whip obviously creating so much spin on the ball and getting it to dip can be just as effective in terms of getting the ball past my opponent. It's just going to go underneath them rather than around them necessarily. Okay, so target that cross court side, ton of racket speed and feel like you're really trying to work the ball down to the opponent's feet cross court and if it gets by them, great. Okay, so, you know, again, Mark's maybe not making a full play on that ball, but even if he does get there, I feel like I'm in a very offensive position to now go get what should be a short, weak volley from him. So start utilizing that buggy whip on your cross-court passing shot. Secondly, and this one is really something that I want you guys to go out and start practicing, the low ball that comes into no man's land that we treat as an approach shot, I'm seeing it way too often struck as just a block. And I'm seeing a lot of my club players almost going into volley grip, blocking this ball back and going to net off a weak shot and getting crushed at the net. So try using the buggy whip here. This is, this is gonna allow you guys to be offensive minded, create a ton of spin, but feel like you're getting into the net off a shot that you're a lot more confident in. Okay, so let's take a look at the buggy whip on this short ball. Okay. All right, so that is just something I'm not seeing utilized enough is a rip forehand from that low ball position. Definitely start trying to use the buggy whip in that scenario. Thirdly, and this is probably the most common one that I see my club level players trying the buggy whip in, but I don't think it's successful enough yet. And part of the reason is nervousness. And the scenario is this. I'm starting middle of the court. Mark hits a great ball out wide. I might get somewhere near the single sideline or even past the doubles alley. And I'm gonna use buggy whip because I want height over the net. I definitely wanna go cross court. And the reason I'm not seeing it hit well enough at the club level is simply because the position being off the court makes you guys nervous. And we know that this shot does not work without a ton of racket speed. And therein lies the problem. When you guys get nervous that you got moved off the court, that results in a tight arm and therefore a slower swing. So I want you guys to relax as you get out to that side of the court. Try to pair it with an open stance, help get that really good thrust out of the legs and start ripping buggy whip forehands from way off the court and target cross court, okay? Here we go. All right, love that shot. You can see I'm super confident in it and that's why I'm swinging so fast and so spinny. You guys have to get in that mindset that you can be offensive even in bad positions, so to speak, okay? So go out, try the buggy whip in those three scenarios. I think that'll make you guys much better players than what I'm currently seeing in those three positions. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You guys will find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together 
think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.